In this episode, we're going to talk a bit about fossil fuels and geothermal energy. So an energy resource is used to generate electricity and other useful forms of energy. So the first thing an energy resource does, in an example, would be that it could rotate a turbine. And then that rotates a coil of wire, and the so the rotating turbine rotates that coil of wire in a magnetic field, which is also called generator. And the coil of wire creates an electric current. Now the electric current is then uh, is a, is an energy carrier or pathway that can take the energy to your home. So let's recap that a little bit. Which of the following equipment is not usually involved in the production of electricity? Coils of wire, turbines, magnetic fields, and non-magnetic metals. Well, if you remember, coils of wire are used because they carry the electricity. Turbines are used because that is what ro is rotated by the energy source. Magnetic field is used because that's what the coil turns in. So non-magnetic metals are not used. And when we're generating an, uh, energy, we need to think of the energy resources. So in most cases, they, to generate electricity, an energy resource would rotate a turbine. And as the turbine rotates, the coil of wire in the magnetic field um, rotates, which also is, is what's called a, ge a generator, basically. And in the generator, an electric current can carry the energy to homes, um, and it's also distributed what's, uh, across what's called the national grid, which is just what spreads electricity out throughout the country. So fossil fuels, for example, coal and oil, are burnt to heat uh, a fluid, which is often water, which creates steam, uh, and that turns a turbine. Now, a turbine then rotates, which in turn rotates the gener generator and generates electricity. So some disadvantages of fossil fuels are firstly that they're not renewable, so that means that they're a, a limited resource that we will run out of at some point. They're inefficient, so it's, it's not a good way to generate electricity. And it also contributes to global warming, which isn't good. So some advantages are that fossil fuels are reliable and you can get electricity on demand when you need it. So some, uh, an advantage of fossil fuel, fuel, if we remember, is that they are a reliable source of energy. And fossil fuels such as coal and oil are burnt to heat water. That creates steam, which turns a turbine, and the turbine rotates a generator, which creates an electric current, and then that can be carried to people's houses through the national grid. So in, ter and in terms of energy store and pathway, the pathway is usually involved in electrical generation. Um, so we've got energy, uh, electrical energy pathways, and we've got kinetic energy stores that power these, um, this electricity generation. So you also need to know about geothermal energy. So in volcanic places, magma, which is just the lava when it's underground, has lots of internal energy and the magma heats rocks which uh, heats which can heat water pipes and then the steam generated can rotate turbines and that ro that um, turns a generator disadvantage of this type of energy generating energy is that it can only be used where there is a where there is volcanic activity close to the surface and a couple of advantages are that it's renewable, so that means it's not going to run out, and it's reliable as well, so we know that it's always going to be available. So just to recap that, in volcanic places, magma has a lot of internal energy, and the magma heats rocks, which uh, heats water in pipes, and then that water rotates uh, a turbine, which turns a generator. So, in volcanic places, the underground lava, which we call magma, has lots of internal energy. 
So which of the following are disadvantages of um, geothermal power? So is it that the technology used can be used for military ends? It is the most expensive form of energy. It is location dependent or it produces a lot of greenhouse gases. Well, it doesn't produce any greenhouse gases. Um, it's naturally, uh, as in any more than would be released naturally. Um, but it is location dependent, so that's something that is a limitation of geothermal power. And fossil fuels, if you remember, are an example of an energy source that is non-renewable and contributes to the greenhouse effect. And two advantages of geothermal energy are that they are renewable and reliable. So just think about some examples of fossil fuels. So remember fossil fuels, for example, coal and oil, they're burnt, they heat up fluid, or, uh, which is often water, and that creates steam which turns a turbine, and that turbine then turns the generator. So for example, one place that this is used is a steam train, so coal is burnt uh, in the engine, and the steam uh, uh, is you, basically the steam turns the powers the train. Another example uh, to look at in a bit more detail is that when fossil fuel is burnt, the energy is transferred to kinetic energy um, in the train. So as that foss as that fossil fuel burns, it goes through, heats the heats the water, turns into steam, and creates kinetic energy in the turbine. 